Goody drops massive Hillary bombshell, she's busted. The misdeeds of former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton have not been forgotten. As Judicial Watch continues to fight Fusion GPS in court, more details of the corruption in the Clinton campaign have emerged. One congressman is paying close attention to these details, and he isn't letting the issue go. Rep. Thray Gowdy, RSC, appeared on Fox News Sunday with Chris Wallace to discuss whether or not the actions of the Hillary Clinton campaign are laundering crimes. Rep. Goody stated, I'm not an election law expert, Chris, but the good news is you don't have to be too understated the absurdity believing you can just launder all of your campaign money by just hiring a law firm. Mr. Wallace summed up the issue, the Clinton campaign and the DNC which paid $12 million to the law firm Perkins Coie that paid for the opposition research that led to the dossier, that in the fact filings it simply says $12 million to Perkins Coie, the law firm, for legal work. No mention of the fact that it was also paying for oppo research that went to Christopher Steele. The Clinton campaign paid attorney Mark Elias and his firm Perkins Coie, for legal services. Perkins Coie then made payments to Fusion GPS for supposed opposition research. Fusion GPS then hired Steele, a former British spy, to create a dossier. Steele took his paid investigation to the Kremlin, where more money exchanged hands for information he used to create the dossier from a series of memos. The series of money exchanges certainly raises suspicion. Wallace then added, as I understand it, that willful misrepresentation of campaign expenditures is a criminal offense. Rep. Goody explained, imagine if you and I were running for Congress and we just hired a law firm and said hey, you go do all the oppo, you go buy all the television, you go buy all the bumper stickers, you go hire all the experts. And we're going to launder all of this through a law firm. I can't think of anything that defeats the purpose of transparency laws more than that. Rep. Goody then remarked that Democrats involved with the circumstances claim they can't remember who paid for the research. I'm also interested in sharing some memory tricks with folks at the DNC because no one can remember who paid $10 million to a law firm to do oppo research. I find that stunning. $10 million and no one can remember who authorized it, who approved it, who said yeah, this is a really good idea, he said. You've got two issues, a memory issue and then the lack of transparency by laundering money through a law firm, Rep. Goody concluded. Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton recently appeared on Lou Dobbs tonight and stated, We've got a real crisis here, it's one thing to have Democratic lawyers or Fusion GPS lawyers protecting the dossier information payments about it. It's another thing to have the FBI and Justice Department fighting to keep the public in the dark about this. Dobbs lamented on the absurdity of how the issue is being handled, from documents hidden from the public to closed-door meetings. It's a joke, the thing that's broken here is the integrity of our committees in Congress, the integrity of our intelligence agencies. And I'm saying it out loud because there is every evidence of corruption across all of those agencies. Judicial Watch has already made progress in forcing Fusion GPS to reveal information that sheds light on the Clinton campaign involvement in the creation of the dossier. They will continue to fight to obtain Fusion GPS bank records to uncover the intricacies of money exchanges. They may be able to prove that Clinton was involved in money laundering, proving Rep. Goody correct.